number seven, Killian Hayes. and Ali LaForce. I'm Brian Anderson. Looking now at some numbers for Michael Porter. Effective field goal percentage is a great way to measure his performance over the previous 10 games. It's been much improved, a sign that his game has been evolving. Now Denver's starting five. Porter Jr. and Gordon at the three and the four. Murray and Caldwell Pope are the backcourt pairing. And it's Jokic in at the five down low. And for the Pistons... Isaiah Stewart out there with Boyan Bogdanovich. Then there's Hayes. Then there's Ivy. And it's Duran in at the center position. <laughs> Tip off. Goes to Denver. Murray with it. Gordon with a screen on Hayes. Murray from outside. Count it. One for one to start the game. You have to watch Murray closely at the perimeter. He won't hesitate to flex his range. Here's Hayes. And a miss there on the triple. Jokic passes to Gordon. And it's blocked. And so the ball out of bounds. Duran touched it last. And we have to take another look at that block. I mean, letting them know up front that he's on the hunt tonight and eager to knock away shots. I love it. Here's Murray over Hayes. Pass to Duran. Out to the right wing. And he lobs it up top. He is ferocious on alley-oops. With his good hands and wingspan, Duran makes for an easy target on the lob. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Hayes against Murray. Gordon, the pass to Jokic. Murray against Hayes. Five to shoot. And there's Murray. That one's good. On the assist by Jokic. Murray's got six points. <laughs> the unique passing skills of Jokic, just fantastic at realizing when one of his guys has a clean look at the basket. Here's Ivy. Right now, he's contributing about 15 and a half points a game. Down low. The Pistons need to get one up quick. Hayes misses. Unusual for him, just a lack of concentration. He fails to finish the play. Murray passes to Jokic. Jokic to screen. Out to the right wing. Pass to Murray. 
Fires the three. And here's Porter outside. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. The combo guard, Murray. Capable of hurting you with his scoring as well as with his passing. And last season, the NBA mourned the passing of Hall of Famer Bob Lanier. He played his first decade with the Pistons. A sad loss for the NBA. Now, he represented them seven times as an all-star. But for all his greatness on the court, He'll be remembered just as much for the work he did off the court as the league's global ambassador. Murray against Hayes. Soft touch off the glass. This is where Killian Hayes is most effective. He has the size to be a factor in the paint. Pass to Jokic. Shoots over Duran. That shot, no good. And it's Detroit the other way. Defeated by Washington in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. It's simple. Your defense has to be razor sharp on the road. You really want to take the crowd out of the game. Easier said than done. Yeah, if the other team is feeding off that enthusiasm, you have to try and match that energy. Here's Ivy. He hits it just before the shot clock expires. Oh, one of the better attackers of the rim. Ivy will not be stopped. And we're just over three and a half minutes into this first quarter. Murray against Hayes. Four on the clock. Caldwell Pope. And the Nuggets hit again from deep. And once Gordon spots an open guy, he immediately moves the ball. Just well-coached offense right there. Pass to Hayes. Here's Ivy. Picked by Stewart. Let's it go from 11. And Detroit again with the bucket. And this is exactly what they want to see from Ivy this summer. Confidence in his jump shot. The consistency necessary to be successful. Now here's Murray. 14 points for him. Last game against Toronto. Outside Bogdanovich. Very pretty alley-oop. And his teammates appreciate the unselfishness. Bogdanovich willing to get it to his open guys. Denver has gone four for four so far from three-point land. Impressive. Hayes against Murray. Gordon with a screen on Hayes. So much NBA talent like Jamal Murray out of Canada, specifically the province of Ontario. Yeah, very true. And I think that's because guys like Murray, born in the late 90s, they grew up with the NBA in Toronto. And Jamal and others have been inspired by the Raptors. And he makes a first. And you know, Grant, a positive trend in this league right now. Teams would rather risk losing a game than sacrifice a player's health. Well, it's all about a player's health, B.A., when it's all said and done. A player with minor injuries are usually held out now, sometimes even against their own will. A much different situation than when I was playing many years ago. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. The Pistons trailing. Now here's Hayes. 20 points for him last game against the Wizards in Washington. And he did great work on the defensive end, too, with three steals on the night. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Now here's Gordon. He had an 18-point outing in their last game against the Raptors in Toronto. His shot making has been superb this quarter. He's taken over this game.
The Pistons have got six of eight shots to go. Hayes against Murray. Here's the pick. Outside Bogdanovich. Good work defensively by Gordon. The Nuggets have gone five of nine from the floor. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Launches it. Rebounded by the Pistons. Now Hayes. Checking his stats. He's scoring around nine and a half points per game. Clock at six. The three is up. Caldwell Pope pulls it in. I mean, he's staying aggressive, trying to regain his touch. But right now, he's hurting the team. Pass to Jokic. Murray for three. Oh, drew the foul and almost hit the three-point bucket. But he'll head to the line for three. And the intensity Murray plays with is impressive. Excellent work forcing the issue and drawing the contact. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Nuggets. Well, in my opinion, the way the three has been falling for them here early on, you have to think they'll keep firing away. And following off of what you said, they've really done a good job distributing the ball, passing up good shots for great ones. And he's good on the first of three. A different look for Denver. Bryant, he's checked in for Jokic. Green comes in for Gordon. And it's Brown in for Michael Porter. Second free throw is good. The last one's off. They'll settle for two. Detroit has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Here's Wiseman. And he buries his first look. So good at the rim. A slow defensive rotation leads to the easy lay. Murray passes to Bryant. And here's Murray. Launches a three, and another miss by Denver. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Burks, he's checked in for the Pistons. Jackson, he's checked in for Denver. Smith comes in for Jamal Murray. Substitution on the floor. Here's Joseph. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Washington. And it's going to be out of bounds. Detroit will have another go. And the block's leaders among small forwards. Coaches love to get strong defense out of the wings. Fifth, Bruce Brown. These are some of the most athletic, relentless defenders in the league. They'll do whatever it takes to interfere with each and every shot. They use their athleticism. But also we have to look at, they have a high basketball IQ on the defensive end. A lot of their blocks come from the help side. Denver in the lead. Smith outside. Here's the screen by Bryant. A nice shot by Smith. A smooth play by Ish Smith. Under control off the pick. Takes it himself. The Pistons have gotten seven of thirteen shots to drop. Here's Joseph, covered by Smith. Wiseman, pass to Burks. 
Here's Joseph. Wiseman, a screen on Smith. Just five to shoot. Works for three. And Bryant pulls it down. He had more than enough room to hit that. Just couldn't make it happen. Here's Joseph. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. And you have to love the focus. He gets hit, but converts it anyway. First personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for Detroit. Corey Joseph. Shooting one. has gone four of six from deep to start this game. Smith passes to Green. Now here's Jackson. Let's it go. And a great assist by Brown as that one goes in. And the Nuggets lead by five. You love the balance from Reggie Jackson. Generating more power in the catch and shoot. And here is Burks. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Right wing. Here's Joseph. And the three-pointer goes. Good boy, oh boy. Both teams lighting it up to start this game. And you wonder how long they can keep it going. At some point, you expect the defense will adjust. And the dunk by Jackson. Taking what the defense offers up, Smith with good vision there finds the open man. And there's 138 left in the first quarter. Spins. Burks passes to Bagley. Back to Burks. Six on the shot clock. Tries it from the top of the key. The shot off that time. Now Denver takes it the other way. Their last encounter was in Denver. It was a narrow loss the last time they faced each other. A game they felt they should have won. It could have gone either way, but unfortunately for them, they ended up on the losing side of that score. Here's Joseph. Six points for him. To the paint. Here's Wiseman. And the basket good. A bank shot that time. Wiseman's got his second bucket on the night. That's the pass you want. Orchestrating the offense, creating for others. Fifty seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Smith with it. Guarded now by Wiseman. Kick out to Brown. Off target from outside. Detroit has gone one for five from three-point range. A cold start. The drive by Joseph. Oh, it's no good. That would have tied it. The Nuggets have gotten eight of 16 attempts to fall. Brown passes to Green. Jackson on the wing, giving this team some energy, averaging a little over 10 points a game. You know, a little inconsistent from deep when he first entered the league. Jackson now an emerging three-point threat. Here's Burks, and the shot goes. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. One second left. No good. One corner in the books. And it's been a close one. Nuggets ahead. They're up by three. We'll get right back to the action when we return. 27.
Happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone, and welcome back to NBA basketball here on 2K Sports. And from what you've seen from the Nuggets, what you take so far? Well, they've really been racking up three-pointers in bunches. They've been so impressive to watch. That's their strategy. Try to overwhelm you. Try to put you in a hole you have to dig yourself out of. The Pistons trailing. Boyan Bogdanovich out there with Marvin Bagley. Then there's James Wiseman. Then there's Hayes. And it's Ivy in at the shooting guard position. That's the group for Detroit right now. Yep, count it. And they keep on figuring out ways to force the rock inside and convert. Well, Grant Ivy gets a lot of attention for scoring, but he can also lock you down at the other end. Oh, yes, he can, B.A. He's big, active, and athletic, too. A strong on-ball defender as well. He'll also jump passing lanes, causing deflections. He looks to flip turnovers into points. That one drops. He ties it up. And every team has it. Those games where you just don't have it. Why does that happen, Brett? Well, B, I think, first of all, 82 games. It's a grind of the season. You factor in traveling, injuries, players out for different reasons. You're going to have moments like this where it just doesn't happen. You know what you do? You learn from it, you move on, and you get ready for the next night. Now here's Hayes. Here's Ivy. Pass to Hayes. Now here's Wiseman, covered by Jokic. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Ivy. And that misses! That would have put him up! Denver has gotten five of their nine attempts from deep to go. And here's Jokic. And we played just over a minute of basketball in the second quarter. Offensive rebound to the left wing. Murray from outside. That falls. Nice feed from Jokic. Murray's got 15 points. Terrific up-tempo play by Murray. Gets the ball, and moments later, he has a shot up. Hayes with it. And he's going for the oop here. And it's Weissman with the jam. The great read between those two guys. The defense didn't stand a chance, B.A. These two teammates right here, Grant, they are connected. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. Hayes against Murray. Jokic with a screen on Hayes. Knocks down the long J. 18 points for him. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Well, guys, the Pistons focusing on improving their scoring. Coach Dwayne Casey said, quote, this is an offensive league. In today's game, you've got to be able to shoot the three because you can't make enough twos to win. It's tough to defend the three, so you've got to keep that scoreboard moving. Back to you. Floor spacing at a premium alley. Thank you. Duran, he's checked in for the Pistons. Outside Murray. And another three for Denver. They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Pass to Ivy. Bagley sets a screen. Shot from the mid-range. Nikola Jokic grabs the miss. Jokic has got five rebounds in the game. Murray against Hayes. Screen by Gordon. Takes a three. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. And now a 10-point Denver lead. All five of the last buckets they've given up have been from downtown. Timeout called the Pistons. Here in March, things are heating up. Let's check out the teams in the West. You look at Denver. This season has been an absolute dream for them. They're currently at number one as the postseason approaches. Seeing where the Nuggets are, they've been relentless competitors all season long. They've assured themselves of a lot of home games in the postseason, and we'll see if they can capitalize. For Detroit, they've gone 2 of 4 here in the second quarter. Pass to Bogdanovich.
to the middle. Here's Duran. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. First personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for Detroit, Duran. At the line for one. And the free throw, no good. Yeah, as of right now, Jalen Duran kind of seems like a classic big man. He can block, he can rebound, and he really focuses on finding close range looks. Now here's Murray. He's got 21. Here's Caldwell Pope. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got three assists now in this one. have gone three of five since the beginning of the second. Here's Ivy. Seven points in the game. Jacks up a three. Another three for Detroit. And something Ivy continues to improve. He's becoming a real threat from downtown. Back to Murray. Pass to Caldwell Pope. It's an even three on three break. Here's Hayes. And here's Bagley, defended by Gordon, and counted. The shot is good, and he'll go to the line. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. One thing to keep in mind with Marvin Bagley the third, he's still so young. It seems like he's been around forever, B.A., but he was just 19 when he was drafted, the second overall pick in 2018. His averages are great when he plays, so I think we got to give the young fella a little bit of time. When it comes to Killian Hayes, his playmaking has never been in question, and he's worked hard to turn his jump shot into an asset. Now here's Porter. 23 points for him last game against the Raptors in Toronto. Murray, no good. The Pistons have gotten five of seven shots to go in the second. Bogdanovich finds Hayes. Here's Ivy. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Jokic has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. You know, with Hayes, it does make a big difference when his jump shot is falling, Smitty. It does, B.A. He's such a smart distributor. If he's hitting that jumper like you talked about, the D has to respect him more. And that'll open up passing lanes and makes him even more of a dangerous point guard. Now here's Hayes. They set a pick. Pass to Duran to the wing, right side. And here's Ivy from the arc. And his fifth basket. Now five for eight. Looking comfortable out there. And with the talent and the competitiveness that Ivy has, we're going to see a lot of nights like this in his NBA career. It's just a matter of how many. Denver in the lead. Outside Murray. And the foul on Marvin Bagley. That's his first foul of the game. The Pistons making a switch here. Stewart's checked in. Now returning on the floor for your Pistons, Isaiah Stewart. Pistons on D. Here's Caldwell Pope. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Caldwell Pope's got six points in the quarter. Pass to Ivy. Back to Hayes. Now here's Stewart. A strong finish under heavy pressure from the D. Stewart's got his first points in this one.
The Nuggets have gotten six of ten shots to drop in the second. Nice work. Here's Caldwell Pope. Defended by Bogdanovich. And Caldwell Pope gets it to go. Shooting at a high clip. He's found ways to get quality looks. And Detroit has possession, trailing by five. Here's Ivy. Pass to Hayes from outside the arc. Another three for Detroit. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. Here's Murray, and here's Jokic. The three ball. Pistons clear it. Stewart's got four rebounds now. Hayes against Murray. Back to Hayes. Bogdanovich down low. Quarters there. Four on the clock. Here's Ivy. Ooh, can't tie it up as that one's no good. Hey, sometimes the best looks don't equate to points. Order the pass to Jokic. Order in the post. Defended by Bogdanovich. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. First personal foul. Team second. Shoot for Denver. Order. Mike Gordon. Shoot. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Both teams will make substitutions. Porter hits them both. When your bigs can make free throws, it's a huge advantage. Love his approach to get to the line. Pass to Duran. Outside Burks. Let's it go from deep. Driving in. Tries again. And he lays it up and in. Terrific body. Reading angles and creating space. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. Yeah, he made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. The Nuggets have gotten 7 of 12 shots to go here in the second. Smith passes to Bryant. Now Jackson. Pass to Smith. The Nuggets need to get one up. Here's Bryant. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. Here's Joseph. Outside Burks. Inside. Here's Duran. Perfect pass to set up the lay-in. Duran's got four points now in the quarter. They're going to work inside. I like how confident Jalen is from this area. Jackson outside. Here's Brown. And Brown with the stuff. Assistant. And plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. This is a close-knit group. They feed off one another's energy. One fifty-one left in the first half of this game. To the inside. Here's Duran, covered by Brian. Duran with the bucket. Duran's got ten points in the game. 
If the defender is giving him that much space, the points are inevitable. Pass to Bryant. Now here's Jackson, driving inside, and the dunk by Jackson. The flat-out speed of Reggie Jackson. No struggles getting to the rim and then doing something about it when he gets there. And so it's Detroit with it. Four-point game. Pass to Burks. Stewart, a screen on Jackson. Shot clock at five. Burks for three. And that's his third bucket at eight attempts. Burks is really good at picking his spots from outside when he's on the floor. A highly efficient shooter. Here's the screen by Bryant. There's the three. Sends it home from three-point land. Bryant's got his second basket on the night. The assist numbers certainly stand out. They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Two seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Jackson against Burks. Over Bryant. Oh, and Bryant with the block. Well, there's the shot clock violation. So they'll turn it over. Substitution on the court. With one on the clock. The shot no good. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. The Nuggets on top, up by four. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half. Welcome. The first half is in the books, so let's check out the top performers for each team. They've each been fantastic tonight, playing with fire, doing just about everything. Lots of pressure on these two in the second half. I remember being the guy on the given night. Well, for me, it was all nights. Shifting focus. How about this tight game the Detroit Pistons find themselves in? They can't seem to force those guys over into a bad shot. No more soft defense. Play it like you mean it, man. If only they had you out there to help them, big fella. Huh? What'd you say? Thanks for joining us. Time to head back over to the third quarter with Brian Anderson. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime. Really an incredible game from Jamal Murray. I'll tell you what, he's still working on his playmaking skills, but he's been tremendous so far in finding the open man. Yeah, in the first half, he took on the role of playmaker. I think it surprised the defense a little bit. Gave this offense a different dimension. On the court for Denver, Murray and Caldwell Pope are the backcourt pairing. Porter Jr. and Gordon at the three and the four. And it's Jokic in at the center position. Fires it. And there's Murray. That one's good. On the assist by Porter. Murray's got 23 points. Now here's Hayes. Pass to Duran. Here's Ivy. With the floater. Yeah, that one's good. Ivy's gotten four this quarter. And great work by Ivy slipping through the contact. You have to be ready for aggressive defense here in this league. And here on the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. Outside Murray. Here's the three. It falls again. He's now 8 for 12 from the floor. We've seen this before from Murray. In big games, too, a dynamic score. Hayes against Murray. 
Hayes misses. I'm not sure the defense affected that shot. That was just a blown gimme. And Aaron Gordon Grant, growing up in the heart of Silicon Valley, San Jose. Yeah, Aaron, using that to his advantage, involved with some apps. And we've seen a lot of players getting into the tech world. Great to see guys like Gordon branching out into business. He's been so aggressive on offense. And with the results, you understand why. You know why? Success breeds confidence. And he's certainly been successful from there time and time again. For Detroit, they've got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. Picked by Stewart. And here's Ivy from the arc. Another three for Detroit. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. Now here's Murray. 26 points for him. Porter gets the bucket. Oh, man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Here's Ivy. Pass to Hayes. Six to shoot. And the call will be against Nikola Jokic. That's his first foul of the game. And that shot was going nowhere thanks to that aggressive swat. Yeah, good offense comes from great defense. This lead is only getting stronger with plays like that. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Stewart finds Hayes. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. Oh, that's some pesky defense. Should have thought twice before attempting that pass. And that's their first miss after hitting four in a row to start the half. Stewart, the pass to Hayes. To the left side wing. Here's Ivy. 20 points for him. Shot clock at six. And no good trying to use the glass. Murray against Hayes. Murray passes to Jokic. And here is Porter. Outside Murray. Here's Jokic. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. And in 2022, more history made by Nikola Jokic. Becoming the first player to amass 2,000 points, 1,000 rebounds, and 500 assists in a single season. The free throw drops for Jokic. And Nikola Jokic. Breaking barriers at the center position, Grant. Oh, so true, B.A. That 2000-1500 season, it never been done before. The Joker's ability to be a facilitator at the five, almost a point center, we've never really seen that before. Bagley's checked in for Stewart. And the play-in tournament has been a success. But some debate about whether the stats should count towards postseason stats. Grant, it kind of falls in the abyss. How do you think we should reconcile it? Well, B.A., first of all, it is the postseason. It's exciting. Everyone's watching. So much is on the line. This is high-pressure elimination games. And, yes, there have been some great performances that we've seen in the play-in tournament thus far. So I think these stats should be included in postseason numbers for players. And it's the Nuggets with the ball. They've led by as many as 11. And after this game wraps up, they're off to New York to take on the Knicks. That'll put them right in the middle of a five-game road trip. Here's Caldwell Pope. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Had he play to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. All right, guys, some stats here. The scoring breakdown for the Nuggets. They've been lights off from three-point land in this one. The defense hasn't been effective at stopping them. So they have just stuck with the game plan. Yeah, and their team first approach is another thing you have to like. And they've had great ball movement and are getting a lot of points off assists. And he knocks down the first one. And he 
makes both free throws. If they keep hitting free throws at this clip, it'll help them seal the deal. For Detroit, they've gone four of six from the floor in this third quarter. Pass to Ivy. Beyond the arc. They grab their own miss. Here's Duran. That one no good. Denver has gotten all three from downtown so far in the second half. Here's Caldwell Pope. Outside Murray. And here's Porter outside. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got six assists now in the game. Detroit has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Bagley sets a screen. Hayes, the pass to Bagley. Back to Hayes. Six to shoot. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. Wiseman, he's checked in for the Pistons. Najee, he's checked in for the Nuggets. At the line for Detroit, Killian Hayes. One shot. Find the lane. One shot. The size Hayes possesses at his position is unique. He's good at using his physical advantages. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Nikola Jokic again has won the league MVP, but he's not one to beat his own chest. He said, quote, I never think about it. I didn't come here to be the MVP of the league. I always think that somebody's better than me, and I want to compete to beat them. Just by that mentality alone, I'm the underdog every time. Brian? Well, it's working for him, Ali. Thanks. Here's Ivy. The Nuggets getting their last shot to go. Oh! Hammer it home! That hurt. And down it goes. Jam that one home. Unbelievable. Ivy living that life above the rim. Once again, an explosive highlight on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. The Nuggets have gone 6 of 7 and appearing confident in this half. Pass to Jokic. Now Murray. Jokic with a screen on Hayes. Back to Jokic. The three is up. And another three for Denver. As the deep shots continue to fall, you can sense the frustration growing among these defenders. Now Hayes, give him eight points now. Pass to Bogdanovich. Wiseman, a screen on Gordon. Here's Bogdanovich. Jokic grabs the board. Jokic has got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Here's Caldwell Pope. Detroit with a rebound. And here's Bogdanovich. An effective score for them, scoring around 21 and a half points a game. Hayes against Murray. Six on the shot clock. Oh, there's the alley! Watching Hayes, he keeps his eyes up, always looking for a better shot, either for himself or his teammates. Denver, they've gotten seven of their in the second half. Murray for three. It's tipped. And up the court come the Pistons on the break. And it's Wiseman with the jam. Woohoo! Just great work cashing in on the fast break. Great job of reading the floor, got to the rim, and made a play. 
Denver in the lead. Now a timeout called by Denver. Let's give Coach credit. He's trying to find a way to squeeze the most out of every possession. Critical. And the Nuggets will go for a different look here. Green's checked in for Nikola Jokic. Brown comes in for Gordon. Jackson, he's checked in for Caldwell Pope. And it's Smith in for Jamal Murray. to Jackson. Inside. And Brown with the stuff. Good vision. Good decision by Reggie. Pushing for a better shot. Finds an open man. Detroit. They've gone 8 of 13 in the second half. The drive by Joseph. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And we have some numbers from the real NBA. The 2K leaderboard in shooting from the field. The Nuggets, number one. The smart offensive moves this team makes helps them open up the floor and find great looks. That's how they've secured such an impressive shooting percentage. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he drops the first. So he gets them both. He's living there tonight, a tough guy to guard without fouling. And the bonus, he's going to knock him down. Outside, Brown. Pass to Jackson. Green with a screen on Burks. Jackson, the pass to Green. All right, a quick look now at how the point totals have looked over the last few months for Jamal Murray. He's been on a tear offensively these past few months, and you know how much they love the extra points he provides. He's been shouldering a bigger load recently, and I think he's just getting started. Two shots. First one at the line is good. And both free throws good for Green. Here's Joseph. Give him eight. Pass to Wiseman. Back to Joseph. Wiseman, a screen on Smith. Now here's Wiseman. The jump hook. Hey, he's now six for six. He is cooking right now. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. There's a minute 34 left in the third quarter. Burks against Jackson. And here's Brown for three. And it's Wiseman with the rebound. Detroit has gone six for 12 from deep so far in this game. Pass to Joseph. Burks, a screen on Smith. Back to Burks. All sorts of time. No good there. And the Nuggets going the other way now. Smith inside. Bagley's on him. Green with the ball. Puts it up from 15. Yes! And a Green. nice assist from Jackson. Jeff. Green's got Green. four this quarter. That turnaround shot is clearly one of his favorites. He loves going to it anytime he gets an opportunity. 
Backley finds Burks. Backley against Green. Here's Joseph. Counted from distance. Joseph has got 11 points. Slow defensive rotation causing a breakdown along the perimeter. Five second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Jackson. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It's on Alex Burks. The seven-foot wingspan of Reggie Jackson makes him a bigger player inside. Helps him draw fouls. Reggie Jackson. Half the line for two. one falls for him and with Reggie Jackson it's a testament to his natural talent that he often leaves us wanting a little bit more and so Jackson nails both of them 16 seconds left in the third quarter Burks with it. Seven points in the game. Fires from deep. Whoa! He just got it off in time! That was close. Now he doesn't panic in these situations. One eye on the rim, one eye on the shot clock. Ending the quarter the right way. And so it's Denver closing out this quarter with a seven-point lead. Great shot selection right now. Keeping the game simple and getting high percentage looks. Time for a quick break, then back to the action. All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. You have to love his unselfishness and ability to make those around him better. So many good point guards in this league. So much responsibility comes with that position. That was a smart, smart play. is upon us. Thanks as always for joining us. Denver in the lead. They've got Wiseman. Marvin Bagley is out there with Boyan Bogdanovich. Then there's Ivy and it's Joseph in at the point guard position. That's the five on the floor for the Pistons. Pass to Murray. Clock at six. Let's go with a three. Cash money. Out of his 14 attempts, he's drained nine of them. How about his aggressiveness from three? He caught fire in the first half. Now hits his second one since the break. He's a bad, bad man. Now here's Bagley. Here's Ivy. Here's Joseph. Bagley, a screen on Murray. To the middle. Oh, the big finish by Bagley. With a strong finish to cut into that lead a little. And left no doubt with that one, Grant. Fourth quarter still young. Just over a minute play. Pass to Bryant. Backley against Porter. Now Brown. Just four to shoot. And here's Bryant outside. The Pistons clear it. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Down low. Here's Wiseman. He can't get it to go. Excellent D there from Bryant. To the paint. Here's Caldwell Pope. And he takes the fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. Woo! Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. It's a backbreaker for your defense, giving up easy buckets like that. And 
and Detroit is shooting the ball at 60%, an excellent average. Here's Ivy. Pass to Wiseman. And Bryant pulls it down. Bryant's got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Caldwell Pope. Outside, Brown. Now here's Porter. Good. And Brown gets the assist. Porter's got nine points now in the second half. Here in the second half, they're really focused on stretching the floor. This was obviously a focal point coming out of the break. Looks smart when the shots are going down. Here's Joseph. Bagley is screened on Murray. Shot from the low block. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Second personal He'll go on Michael Porter. First team block. At the line for Detroit, Joseph Ori. Shooting two. Joseph taking two shots. The first one falls. They're doing some good work at the line this half. Duran, he's checked in for the Pistons. Stewart comes in for Bagley. Jokic is checked in for Denver. Gordon comes in for Brown. And so he hits both. Denver has gone two of three from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Jokic passes to Porter. Here's Caldwell Pope. Murray from outside. Rebounded by Joseph. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone by in the fourth. Here's Duran. And he tries it off the glass, but it's no good. The Nuggets have gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. And the shot counts. He's fouled. And it's a chance for a three-point play. Hayes is checked in for Joseph. Shooting for Denver, Murray, Jamal Murray at the line for one. The free throw drops from Murray. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Pass to Ivy. To the inside. Here's Duran, covered by Jokic. Just five on the clock, and there's a pick. Here's Stewart. That went a little long. The Nuggets have gotten four shots out of six attempts to drop so far in the fourth. And Caldwell Pope gets it to go. <laughs> They're really working the paint now. have gotten only one of five to fall here in the fourth. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Hayes, the pass to Bogdanovich. And he's going for the lob! Hammers the lob through! The pass, the catch, the slam! What a clean play! Man, absolutely jaw-dropping. The Nuggets have gotten five of their seven shots to fall in this final quarter. Pass to Jokic. Now Gordon. Here's Caldwell Pope. Now here's Jokic. And the layup is good off the glass. And the Nuggets lead by 16. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. Hayes against Murray. Now here's Hayes. Guarded closely. 
Just two to shoot. Floats one up. Denver grabs the miss. And here's Denver. They're on a 15-6 run. Blocked! Yeah, anytime you put the ball up near Durham, there's a chance it ends up back in your face. Puts it up from 12. A nice shot by Ivy. Ivy's got 24. Terrific play. This is why you run your offense through him and live with the results. Jokic passes to Porter. And here's Murray. Porter with a screen on Hayes. Inside. And it's Porter. That time on the assist by Murray. Murray's got nine assists now tonight. And this is what you want to do when you've got a big lead. You must stay aggressive. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They've came in focus and they've executed. Detroit with the ball. They trail by 16. Here's Ivy. Jokic grabs the board. Jokic has got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Caldwell Pope. And the powerful one-handed slam. I guess you don't need two hands when one will suffice. Hey, as long as you don't lose control. The Pistons have gotten just three of nine shots to go in, struggling this fourth quarter. Pass to Ivy, picked by Stewart to the middle. And it's good. Fought through contact, hits the shot, and will go to the line. It's been so fun to watch the growth of Isaiah Stewart. This is a big man who continues to show impressive strides. For your Pistons. Isaiah Stewart at the line for one shot. And Stewart has quickly become a valuable player in this team's rotation. B.A., I like his hustle on both ends of the floor. And he gets after it on the glass. This guy wants to keep getting more minutes and have more responsibility. Jokic gets the bucket. They're playing great team basketball. It's good movement and sharp, crisp passing. Pass to Ivy. Down low. Duran with the bucket. Duran's got four points now in the quarter. And this team's struggles are not his fault. He's putting in work at the offensive end. Denver has gone two of four from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. Now here's Jokic. He's covered closely. Shoots over Duran. Jokic passes to Gordon. Detroit with a rebound. Duran's got four rebounds in the game. The Pistons have gone 5 of 11 so far in the fourth. Pass to Stewart. Here's Ivy. Back to Stewart. Five on the clock. They set the pick. Here's Hayes. The shot that time not on target. Now Denver takes it the other way. They led by as many as 18. Outside Murray. Over Hayes. And Jamal Murray picks up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. And the Pistons are making a change here. Bagley's checked in. Coming on to the floor for your Pistons. And Detroit has possession. 15-point game. Here's Ivy. And he banks in the layup. Ivy's got 26 points. Just finding room to go to work inside. Ivy really relies on his physical abilities to get a close range shot. Now here's Murray.
pass to Jokic. Here's Caldwell Pope. The shot is good on the assist by Jokic. Jokic has got five assists tonight. Coming down the stretch, they've leaned on the perimeter game. You know, when you're raining threes, you can stack up points in a hurry. But it can go the other way as well. Two minutes. Now here's Hayes. Over Murray. Hayes misses. It hasn't been all bad shots for him. But you wouldn't know that looking at his percentage from the field. Jokic with a screen on Hayes. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Third personal foul. Team second. Shoot it for Denver. Murray. Jamal Murray taking two shots. Free throw drops for Murray. Joseph is checked in for the Pistons. And Murray drops them both. The Pistons have gone just 6 of 14 in this final quarter. Pass to Ivy. There's a screen. Good on the bucket. Ivy's got six in the quarter. There's a minute 34 left in the game. Pass to Jokic. Back to Murray. That falls. Nice feed from Jokic. Murray's got 36 points. And this one hasn't been in doubt for a bit now. They came out on a mission, and you can bag up this win for the Nuggets. Hey, if you get yourself to the line and cash in on those opportunities, you paint your opponent into a corner. Yeah, they were so successful with that all night. Aggressive, fearless, whatever you want to call it, they really pushed the action and got rewarded. And they're going to win this one, making this their 47th victory so far. And this team really wanted to at least split this season series. And when you look at the game, the one thing that helped fuel this team to victory was the efficiency for Jamal Murray. Shouldering the load for them all night offensively. He came in focused, ready to go, and he delivered. Livers, he's checked in for the Pistons. Burks comes in for Bogdanovich. And when you talk about Ivy, his explosiveness really stands out, especially when he's running the floor. Smith outside to the inside. Green. Nice assist and Green. nice finish. Solid play all the way around. Green. And the Nuggets lead by 18. Pass to Ivy. Back to Joseph. To the paint. A oh, nice shot by Ivy. Ivy's got 32 points in the game. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick for the lay-in. Now here's Smith. He's guarded closely. This is what winning is all about. Playing your best when it matters most. It's called killer instinct. It's one thing to be close at the end. It's another to finish. Twenty-seven seconds left in the fourth quarter. Pass to Livers. Here's Ivy. From behind the arc. And the Pistons, another three. And I'll tell you what, that's what being unselfish is all about. Ivy finding the open man. Jackson outside. 
it's the Nuggets winning this one easily. That's Exceptional the effort on the road. They were ready and they were Thank focused. Focused indeed. I mean, it takes a strong mental approach to block out the distractions. These guys stepped up 100%. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Nicola, congratulations on the win. What does a win like this say about your team? I mean, we are looking for each other. We are finding it. It's, it's uh, when we start playing like we're supposed to play, we are really good. So hopefully we're going to continue to play like this. Thanks, Nicola. Back to you guys. All right, Allie, thank you. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Grant Hill, Ali LaForce, and Steve Smith, I'm Brian Anderson. Thanks for joining us tonight. Now our New Balance player of the game, Jamal Murray.